The city's budget is half a billion dollars, and everybody wants a piece of it, including the mayor's office. But this morning, some city councilors are talking about cutting the amount that goes to the mayor's office, and the reason? Well, the mayor's top brass getting huge pay raises while the rest of the city is not. Our Samantha McDonald is downtown at City Hall to explain. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning, Matt. This will all be a big discussion here tonight. The mayor's budget has a 1% pay raise for regular city workers, but some high level staff members are getting salary bumps of more than 20%. That's why I thought this was so insulting to the employees because there was no raises but for 1% this year. What's insulting, Sanchez says, is huge raises given to the mayor's administration this year compared with the mayor's proposed 1% pay raise for city workers next year. The mayor's right hand man, Chief Administrative Officer Rob Perry, got a 22% raise. He now makes 180 grand. Perry's right hand man, Gilbert Montano, got a promotion and a 28% boost to his salary. And APD Chief Gordon Eden is getting $25,000 more than his predecessor, Ray Schultz. As counselors look at putting together their budget proposal, some Democrats are talking about killing the mayor's request for money that he needs to pay for those pay raises. That means that the administration will have to cut back on their budget uh, proposal and their budget desires. So be With so many areas that need help, counselors say nothing is off the table just yet. Back to you. All right, thank you for the update this morning, Samantha. Now we did reach out to the mayor's office to get its take on all of this, and it wants counselors to approve a budget before it talks about it. Of course, we'll let you know what the council does on air and online at krqe.com. Also today, counselors will be talking about how much it'll cost for the Department of Justice's reforms to the Albuquerque Police Department. They could be double what the mayor proposed in his budget. City Councilor Dan Lewis plans to introduce a budget package with $2 million for these DOJ reforms instead of just $1 million. Some of the money would help mental health and homeless programs. The mayor's office says it is going to take a look at that budget. A state representative is apologizing for the race-based attacks he made against fellow Democrats in an email. Albuquerque Democrat Miguel Garcia targeted Valencia County candidates Jim Dan Jim Danner and Teresa Smith de Sheriff. He warned against primary election support for two, quote, Anglo Democrats with big egos as big as Texas, mouths as big as the Grand Canyon, and much green moolah from the East and the West Coast, his words. Both candidates fired back. I look at it and I tell myself, hmm, well, welcome to politics. These kind of comments do nothing but divide the party. Garcia sent both candidates an apology Wednesday afternoon. Both Danner and Smith Desharif have accepted that apology. Moms and dads who work for the state, you can now get time off for parent-teacher conferences. Just this week, Governor Susana Martinez signed an executive order allowing it, and now she is urging cities, counties, and private companies to do the same thing. The governor says parents are the best partners teachers can have, and she wants to encourage them to be as engaged as possible in their kids' education. Well, there is more demand than supply of medical marijuana here in New Mexico. Now health experts are considering doubling what some licensed producers can grow, but slashing patient stashes in half. State health leaders are set to meet June 16th to create new limits on how many plants producers and licensed patients can grow. They're thinking of letting producers grow 150 mature plants and 300 seedlings. Right now, the limit is 150 total, but patients would be allowed just six plants down from 12. The state and the Navajo Nation are fighting over water. Former Governor Bill Richardson signed a deal with the Navajo Nation back in 2010. The deal was approved by a district court judge in San Juan County and would give the Navajo Nation 600,000 acre feet of water from the San Juan River every year. That is six times the amount Albuquerque gets for a population a third of its size. Some say the deal is illegal, including state rep Carl Trujillo. He says that deal never went through the legislature. Trujillo and other lawmakers are asking the state Supreme Court to void the deal and have a new one submitted to the legislature. There's many people in the legislature, representative senators that have a lot of knowledge on water. And they're all representing different people from around the state. Lawmakers say the deal Richardson agreed to would cost the state millions and are concerned the Navajo Nation could end up selling some of the water. Metro area water consumers, your water bill could be going up.
it's directly connected to the construction projects you encounter on city streets. The ABC Water Utility Authority is fixing old water lines, dozens of miles of them. The utility needs 76 million bucks, about double what they spend now to do it. So next Wednesday, the utility is asking the Water Utility Board for a rate increase. We'll keep you posted. Well, Kirtland Air Force Base should start cleaning up its massive jet fuel spill this summer, just in time to meet the state's deadlines and avoid some hefty fines. But some people are saying this morning that it's still not good enough. The Albuquerque Journal says the Air Force will have a small pilot project going by July 1st. It'll clean up an area of the fuel spill that's about 50 feet across, very small, considering the spill is about a mile long and includes 6 to 24 million gallons of jet fuel. Critics say the Air Force is just meeting the deadline to avoid paying a $10,000 a day fine, but still is not doing enough to get that mess cleaned up. Well, tonight is your chance to learn more about the signal fire that is still growing and burning about 10 miles north of Silver City in the Gila. So far, it's burned more than 5,700 acres and is 25% contained. 700 firefighters are battling it now. Again, to get the latest update, head out tonight at 6 o'clock to the Roundup Lodge in San Lorenzo.